Now, your 21 Alive first alert forecast. Good morning. I'm starting out by giving you a really advanced notice to a system that we are watching here in the weather department when it comes to Friday. Friday has the potential for some strong storms and also some really gusty wind. So let's go ahead and talk about it. That target for the most severe weather does include our area in the borderline. So we are not the prime target at this point. More so it's off towards our west and we'll be watching as a line of storms forms with a very powerful cold front and watching to see how long that line of storms holds together and pushes into our region. So is there the possibility of thunderstorms? Yes, and when it comes to the possibility for severe weather, very uncertain at this time. There's a lot more unknowns than knowns still being that it's Tuesday and this is on Friday. So as we get closer and closer to this system, those possibilities narrow down and we'll keep you updated. But I just want you to know it's something that we are watching here on our end. Something that's a little bit more long lasting than the storms are the wind. You will see very strong winds Friday and Saturday. Even if that storm potential in our area winds down, the winds will still continue with us in our region. We'll see wind gusts about 40 to 50 miles per hour. Definitely another powerful system that pushes through. So it kind of puts into perspective the early part of this work week. While it is boring, it is quiet, so we are thankful for that. We're waking up to mainly clear skies, just a couple of upper level clouds at the moment. And we will be partly cloudy throughout the day today and dry. Few peaks of sunshine are possible. Later on tonight, we start to clear out. Gives you the opportunity if you are going to go out and do any of that planet gazing, which is perfect for this week. You should have the opportunity to early this evening. Tomorrow, more clouds roll in. We have the chances for some spotty rain showers and even a few sloppy snowflakes up north. The greatest snow potential will be off in Michigan, but closer to the Michigan border, we could perhaps see a few sneaking sloppy snowflakes that shouldn't cause any problems, but nonetheless, kind of that nuisance that you see around this time of year. Any rain potential for tomorrow is pretty short lived. Then we start to dry out and all in all, that's what's ahead for this week. So for today, it's a very cold start to the day. We're waking up to temperatures below freezing 29 here in Fort Wayne, 28 in Auburn, 32 right now in Van Wert. Temperatures later on make it into the 40s by this afternoon and highs today top off near 48 degrees. We'll be just shy of hitting 50. In fact, tomorrow we're just shy of hitting 52. We should see a little bit more sunshine for Thursday. Like I mentioned, Friday one to watch when it comes to the potential for storms and strong winds. That strong wind potential carries over into Saturday as well. OK, Liz, hopefully as we move closer to Friday, that severe potential gets slower. You yes, know, that's always the hope for us. So yeah. we'll be watching as we get closer and closer. But I know there's so many people that have lived through really strong storms or bad tornadoes and they want that advance notice. So yeah. oh, that's yeah. why we're letting you know something we're watching out for and we'll keep you up to date day by day. All right, Liz, we appreciate it. Thanks.